Hello and welcome to another edition of Mailbag. What is Mailbag? Well, Mailbag is a feature of the channel where you guys leave lots of comments on the channel and I attempt to answer those comments or if I can't answer those comments, I throw it out to you guys who have more knowledge on some of this stuff than I do. So, let's get into the first mailbag of this session. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. Next comment or question comes from 2010 Starship. Not Star Lord, Starship. Um, and this was in response to the Corgo S's post battery change procedure, a video I did in July 2018, just after I acquired my Corgo Oasis. Uh, and Starship writes, I followed your instructions and change the battery and set the date and present. When I turn on the Oasis, it no longer shows the message, but I have no sound output uh, any longer through the speakers or headphones. I check the global MIDI setup and the local control is on. Would you help me to fix it? Um, this question confused me. And the reason it confused me is that the way the, the Oasis, the Kronos and many of you know, the newer keyboards work is they don't hold the settings in some sort of memory chip anymore that is affected by losing the battery. They actually write the settings to a file on the disk and that file is loaded as part of the, of, of the startup process. All the modern uh, flagship keyboards kind of work in that same way. You know, nothing is held in um, in sort of uh, volatile uh, chip storage anymore. I'm not saying all the keyboards are built like that, but all the big flagship stuff is kind of works in the same way. Um, so this was the reason why it confused me, because if you're writing the file, the settings file to disk, then why would changing the battery affect the settings file? Um, I think there's more going on here in reality. So if we go back in time, as I said, you know, changing the battery would quite often basically get rid of all your patches, your factory pa your factory patches, your user patches, uh, any any custom configuration you have in the settings of how the keyboard is set up and works, all that stuff would typically be lost. So you know, changing the battery was quite a big thing, and it was it was a quite an you know unless you had a, a sysx file to restore it from, or a memory card, or a boot disk, or something like that, you're basically up the uh, river without a paddle. So, going back to the Oasis, the Oasis is effectively a personal computer inside, which is again what most of the flagship machines are nowadays. Um, so. And because of the fact it is a personal computer, the battery actually doesn't do anything to the settings. The battery itself is just kind of maintaining the BIOS settings and, and things on the on the PC memory board. Um, things, to be honest, most of the most of the stuff it's been relegated to is date and time, uh, maintaining a date and time uh, on the board. So it, it doesn't have any influence on the keyboard itself. So sound, MIDI settings, sequences. Um, patches, all of that is written to disk. You know that's that's what it does. Um, so, you know the thing is when you when you had the battery the machine open, what I would probably be looking at here is did you disconnect anything? Um, did you actually touch uh, connectors between the computer and the motherboard, the computer and the DSP, um, and the fact that you're not getting any sound either in the, either outputs, either headphones or um, audio outputs kind of says to me that the sound is not getting to the DSP. So I'd look at the cables that connect the DSP to um, the motherboard and DSP to the computer and see if you've disconnected something. Um, that's kind of one of the areas I'd look at. The second area I'd look at is, no, you've looked at the local 
uh, and made sure that local is on. So that means that when you press the keyboard, sounds will come from the from the keyboard itself. Not it just it does just doesn't transmit it to something else and and switched off the internal sound generator. Um, so make sure that is obviously on. You've done that. But the other thing I'd look at here is the Oasis comes with its own internal mixer and you haven't turned down the channels on the master mixer. So you know you need to go into the settings and just make sure that you know the the master mixer has actually got channels up. Um, and that's something that's easily and daftly done to be honest. Um, so that was kind of the the uh, the advice that I, I gave on that. Uh, and then uh, Starship wrote back and said as you correctly noticed, when I replaced the battery, I unplugged two of the connectors. Well, there you go. Just proves the point. And I did this, this funny enough, I did this on um, the SY77 video recently, where I was uh, upgrading the power cord. As you know, I've upgraded the power cord on my SY77 to a, uh, an IEC 13 uh, connector, IEC 13 and IEC 14 connector. And... Um, when I did that work, what I forgot to do was plug the actual power board into the transformer. So, of course, when I switched it back on, nothing worked. Schoolboy school error. But, you yeah, know, it's done. That's what happens. You know, you have to disconnect stuff. And if you don't reconnect it and forget about it, something doesn't work. Next comment question comes from David Potvin. Uh, and this is in response to replacing the battery on the Cork T1, a video I did in September 2017. And David writes, awesome video. Thanks a lot for doing this. By the way, 5.47, be very careful when you hold the battery uh, to hold it by the sides, not touching the top and bottom, because once you touch both sides, it starts discharging through your fingers. I know this is negligible and the battery will last long, but the longer you hold it like that, the less the battery will hold. Heck, even on computers we have the same issues. And fellow tech was talking to me about how often he had to change the batteries where he worked. After seeing him change a battery, I pointed out that once he changed the battery, changed how he handled the batteries, he actually contacted me to say it actually made a difference. Well, you learn something new every day. So A, thanks for feedback on the video, and B, thanks, I'll bear those comments in mind.